What if I told you that everything you see and feel in this world might not be real? What if we're all just characters in a super advanced simulation, living in someone else's game? We are living in a computer programmed reality. It may sound wild, but this is a thousands year old theory in which people still believe and nobody has cracked the code yet. However, AI might hold the key to cracking this mystery. Stick around, because the truth could be way more mind-blowing than you ever imagined. Possibly could be one of these things that um, quite radically changes the orientation of what a civilization is in fact optimizing for. Ever since ancient times, people have asked the question, is the world a dream? Is everything around us an illusion? created by some god to test us. Exactly what one of the early papers was on, AI boxing, how to leak proof singularity. Uh, if they're smart enough to realize they're in a simulation, they'll act appropriately until you let them out. The simulation hypothesis proposes that our entire reality, everything we see, touch, and experience, could be an elaborate illusion, created by an advanced civilization, much like a video game. Some believe we might be living inside a supercomputer, like characters in a high-tech simulation. Philosopher Nick Bostrom, who formulated the simulation hypothesis, discusses the concept in depth. If we are in a simulation, there is then the possibility that, say, physics at the level where the computer running the simulation um, could, could be different from the physics governing phenomena in the simulation. So I think it might be interesting from point of view of religion or just for, for kind of trying to figure out what, what the heck is going on. So simulation hypothesis, we are living in a computer simulation. Simulation argument, this argument that um, tries to show that one of three propositions is true, one of which is the simulation hypothesis, but there are two alternatives. It says at least one of these three is true. Yes. Although it doesn't on its own tell us which one. Um, so the first one is that almost all uh, civilizations at our current stage of technological development um, go extinct before they reach technological maturity. So there is some you know, great filter um, that makes it so that basically none of the civilizations throughout you know, maybe a vast cosmos uh, will ever get to realize the full potential. Once you take this leap to to technological maturity, I mean, I think like it involves creating machine super intelligence, possibly that would be sort of on the path for basically all, all civilizations, maybe before they are able to create large numbers of ancestor simulations, they would, that, that possibly could be one of these things that um, quite radically changes the orientation of what a civilization is in fact optimizing for. Um, there are other things as well. So um, at the moment we have not perfect control over our own being, our own mental states, our own experiences are not under our direct control. Mm -hmm. So what do AI chatbots and apps say when you ask them about living in a simulation? You might be surprised. AI spotting the mathematical clues. AI models are quick to point out that our universe runs on incredibly precise math, laws that govern everything from gravity to light. AI sees this as a potential code underlying reality. It's like finding the rules of a game that govern everything within it. Max Tegmark briefly explains the insights in his video about AI spotting maths clues. That our universe is, in fact, very mathematical. In fact, completely mathematical in the sense that um, we're actually inhabiting a, an enormous mathematical object. And that we should, that that's a good thing, not a bad thing, because that gives us humans even more opportunities to discover patterns and regularities and make more predictions and figure out how stuff works and use that to build awesome technology that can empower us. Quantum mechanics, a glitch. In the matrix, AI brings up the strange way particles behave, only deciding their state when observed. 
It's similar to how a video game only loads details when you look at them. AI suggests this might be a clue that reality works in chunks, like a computer program. You can have more extreme differences. Maybe time is comes in discrete chunks like in a computer game or there are lots of, of fascinating possibilities. Technological trajectory. Could we do it? It's looking at the pace of human tech development and predicting that if we keep going, we could one day create a simulation indistinguishable from reality. That's how we could have ended up here, inside a simulation built by some super advanced civilization. Imagine AI as a cosmic detective, hunting for strange patterns or clues that could reveal our reality is coded. It could run simulations, discovering that particles and galaxies only appear when observed, like a video game world. AI might even explore mind-boggling mysteries like dark matter and quantum entanglement, possibly finding glitches in the system. With its powerful analysis, AI could connect the dots and help us uncover if we're living in a simulation. Exactly what one of the early papers was on, AI boxing, how to leak proof singularity. Uh, if they're smart enough to realize they're in a simulation, they'll act appropriately until you let them out. If they can hack out, they will. And if you're observing them, that means there is a communication channel and that's enough for a social engineering attack. If we're inside a system, both we and AI are bound by its rules, like trying to hack a game from within. AI also faces the challenge of sifting through data to find patterns that could be proof. But how can we tell if it's a glitch or just something natural we don't understand yet? And if AI does prove we're in a simulation, what would that mean for our reality? Could we ever escape? These are tough questions AI will have to tackle. AI is helping scientists model mini-universes and even uncover strange cosmic patterns AI has been used to create simulated universes. These virtual realities follow similar laws of physics to ours. If we can make a convincing simulation, isn't it possible our universe is also a simulation? AI is also studying cosmic anomalies. For example, AI has found strange patterns in how galaxies are distributed and how cosmic radiation behaves. Some scientists believe these anomalies could be evidence of underlying code. Physicist Dr. Michio Kaku has extensively discussed the simulation hypothesis, offering insights into the possibility that our universe might be a simulation. Dr. Kaku addressed this topic, stating, I don't think so. Well, the answer is probably no, but for a very sophisticated reason. Life is quantum mechanical. Life is not based on zeros and ones, zeros and ones. The big question. Is AI fully convinced we're living in a simulation? Well, here's the thing. AI doesn't have beliefs, but it sure raises some fascinating questions. It recognizes the possibility, and it's doing everything it can to uncover the truth by analyzing data, testing theories, and scanning for anomalies. Some advanced AI models, when asked about the simulation hypothesis, they even suggest that the idea could be true, because AI too exists within a system of rules and logic, just like the world we experience. So, what do you think? Are we in a simulation, or is it just a fascinating theory? Can AI crack the code?